It's the first major festival making its way back to downtown. I'm Lauren Thomas and Artisphere is what's happening in the city of Greenville this week. Art, music, culture at a new location for 2021 on South Main Street near Floor Field. Smaller and socially distanced, but still bringing vibrance, energy, and all the good vibes back to Greenville. The Eurasian Eagle Owl, the Barrel Owl, and the Harris Hawk have arrived. They are spending some time in quarantine before moving into their new homes in the zoo. Look for them out in the zoo in early June. We had a lot of rain this week, and our rain gardens at Stables Park are working hard. The gardens are filled with plants that absorb toxins and help with stormwater runoff. Find a bin and make Greenville Cleanville. Let's make Greenville Our anti-littering campaign is underway. Litter crews are picking up two tons of litter each week from city streets and parks. Mowing season is in full swing. Maintenance staff continues to mow, trim, and blow in all park areas. At Unity Park, paving is complete on the western portion of New Welburn Street in front of the warehouses. Work is ongoing behind the warehouses and includes landscaping, irrigation, and construction of the new parallel Swamp Rabbit Trail and Fire Lane. Construction update on the Bobby Pierce Community Center. The walls have been framed and the exterior of the building painted. The center has a full roster of children signed up for Super Summer Camp and will be ready to go in June. A city-supported affordable home in West Greenville built by United Housing Connections is now fully framed. It should be complete by the end of the summer and ready for a family on UHC's waiting list. Economic development staff and owners of the Flatiron Building held a drop-in information session about proposed improvements in the village of West Greenville. The city's design review board gave unanimous approval for District 356. The proposed entertainment district will provide game day event space outside Floor Field. Greenlink is hiring. We're looking for full-time bus drivers. The job provides a competitive benefits package including paid time off, holiday pay, and a $1,000 signing bonus. The Greenville City Fire Department was awarded a 2020 Fire Safe South Carolina Community designation for actively working to develop community risk reduction plans in our community. The Greenville Drive opened their season this week. Greenville Police Chief Howie Thompson virtually threw the first pitch. The drive also honored Francis Crosby of the Greenville Fire Department and Claudia Major of the City Health Clinic for managing employee health and testing during the COVID-19 pandemic. Thanks to the drive for recognizing our first responders. It's great to have baseball back here at Floor Field after 612 days away. I'm Lauren Thomas for the City of Greenville.